Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Eileen from Makeup by Eileen. If you already subscribed to this channel, welcome back guys. So for today's video, I thought it would be really fun to get to my children to pick up my makeup. So this video is going to be Gabriella is going to pick up everything that I have to use on my face today. So it's going to be pretty interesting. So let's jump right into this video guys. So to start this video, I'm going to play a little clip right now of Gabby choosing all of my makeup so I can only use what I have on my desk that she put on my desk for me today. So I thought it would be really fun. So I'm going to play the clip quickly for you guys right now of Gabby choosing all the makeup that I'm going to be using for today's makeup look. Okay, Do you like this primer? Luckily for me, Gabs has a pretty good knowledge on makeup, so it's not going to be terrible. I think my boys doing my make, choosing my makeup is going to be a lot more challenging than Gabby doing it. So I'm just going to put that primer on the face and let it soak in for a bit. And I'm going to give our foundation a good shake. She chose the True Skin, Catrice True Skin foundation with hyaluronic acid. And she chose the shade, where is it? Cool Cashmere. I prefer the Cool Nude, but we'll make it work today. We're just going to get some of this foundation out. foundation brush and start putting it on the face this foundation is a little bit more pinky than I prefer that's why I prefer the cool nude but I'm sure once it's blended in it will be fine at least she chose a foundation that I really like so there's that I think the boys are going to sabotage me a little bit what do you guys think I think when you have sons, they kind of, they do know quite a bit about makeup, especially my oldest because he's always with me. So he kind of knows a little bit more than my middle child, my youngest son. Um, he's not really interested in makeup, nor is my eldest, but he does have a little bit more knowledge than the youngest. So it will be pretty interesting to see what they come up. But I think they're going to think it's funny to kind of prank mom and pick out stuff that they know I don't really like. 
or want to use. I'm sure they're probably going to pick out like super orange foundation or something crazy like that. I know my boys, they're going to think it's hilarious. So at least this is a good foundation. The color's not bad. It's just not my favorite shade, but it does work with my skin and my skin tone. So it's not the worst. So now that the foundation's in, blend it into the skin all nicely. Let's see what she got for concealer. And she did choose the True Skin, Catrice True Skin Concealer in the shade Neutral Ivory. So it is the shade that I always use, lucky for me. I think she just took off another guess because it was on the top of the pile. I'm just going to put this concealer under the eyes and just down the bridge of the nose and a little bit on the forehead, not too crazy. I go around my nose because I kind of crease in there and then on the cupid's bow. Not on the lip. Okay, let's open this out. If you can hear water running, it is raining here and our water tank is overflowing so we're trying to catch it in another container. So it's making a lovely noise outside yeah. And the weather is kind of going from crazy raining to sun shining so and like severe wind. It's a little bit crazy at the moment but it's not much I can do about the weather okay that's all blended in awesome um she didn't pick up a cream contour which is perfectly fine but she did get the Coutrice poreless perfection powder so i'm just gonna set my face quickly and i do love this setting part i've actually stopped using it because i've hit pan and i need to pick up another one and i just haven't done it yet but it's okay like i've really dived into the scar just seems to help minimize the pores and it sets this foundation i mean obviously it's made to work together with the foundation and the concealer so it's only natural that it works well together but this really works with like any foundation okay and i'm just going to set the face like that all done um she did pick up a contour palette and she chose the contouring palette from bys my favorite one yay me so it's just contour the face a little bit so it don't look so flat and I'm going in the lighter shades today because this foundation is a little bit lighter and not exactly tanned so I'm not going to go too dark And I've also been loving just a lightly, either bronzed or lightly contoured look at the moment. Not too crazy. Chisel that jawline a little bit, try to hide that double chin. a little 
different. And I'm only taking the lighter shade for the nose, not the light and the medium. And then, as you know, take my brush and whatever's left over on my brush. I just like to make sure that everything is blended and smooth, melted into the skin. No harsh lines. So we're just going to take our brush and blend out all those lines so we don't have like a harsh line. Just like that. She did pick up a brush and a highlight. A blush and a highlight, not a brush and a highlight. She picked up the Essence Would You Love Me brush and highlight duo. So I'm just going to give myself some blush. Do you like this blush? I've been crazy about the Smudge Blush Duo Peach in Peaches. So it's nice to try something different. You kind of get stagnant when you find something you love and you don't really reach for other things so it's really nice to get a little bit of a different color okay just take my highlighting brush there it is i'm just going to grab some of this shade this highlighter that she picked out and just gently place it down where I want it before I blend it out. Just make sure there's no extra excess on there and just blend it out so it's not crazy. This is a nice subtle highlight. It is a little bit more gold reflect so if you fear you just want to bear that in mind. That, nothing too crazy okay um she didn't pick anything out for brows so i'm going to comb my brows through because this looks a bit poof so i'm just going to grab my spoolie and just comb out off that setting powder and foundation that gets on them just to clean them up a little bit because i'm not going to cheat and use a brow product because she didn't choose one she is only 10 so she probably thinks like what do you need to draw your brows in and fill them in for like so we're just going to do that and then i think we're going to move on to the eyes and she picked out my Too face natural love palette that i haven't used for forever um it's a very nice neutral awesome palette so I'm just going to go in with the shade Nudie on a fluffy crease brush and I'm just going to work that into the upper crease as I always do just for a nice natural transition shade I'm just going to lay some of that down nothing too crazy it's basically the shade of my eyelids anyway a little bit deeper so I'm just gonna lay that down like that and then I'm gonna get a more fluffier a bigger fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna go into the shade hmm what shade should I use I haven't played with this palette for forever I think I'm gonna go with the more purples and I'm gonna go into the color love bug it's more of the deeper purple shades I'm just gonna bring that in the top part of the crease and into the crease just put some color down and I do love this palette for weddings and just soft natural glam looks but haven't it's right in the bottom of my shelf so don't really reach for it all that much let's do this other side so 
it's quite nice and refreshing to get out a palette that you haven't played with in a hot minute and just play with it again. Just make sure we blend out those edges. And go back into the brush that we used for my transition shape and make sure we blend that line so it's not a harsh, harsh line. That. So it's a wash of color, and then I'm going to go into. I think I'm going to go into the shade. Is it called Stiletto? It's the darkest, like charcoal black shade. I can get a more precise brush. I'm going to go into the scarf here. And tapping the excess off and keep it in the outer corner of the eye just to deepen up the outer corner and the outer crease a little bit, nothing too crazy because this is a very soft neutral palette you want to kind of keep it nice and soft your shadow, your eye look just like that and do the same thing on the other side your more expensive not all of them but most of well, the ones that I've kept anyway are very pigmented like really good quality expensive shades uh, palettes like brands so you don't really need to spend four million years blending and working with the palette so Pretty quick eye look because obviously the shadows work awesome so you don't need to spend okay we have our shadow down and she did pick up a liquid eyeshadow I'm going to keep the bottom section clean and I'm just gonna pop on this beautiful rosy with a hint of gold shimmer in the eyelid I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm going to pop on some mascara and she chose the Essence Volume Stylish 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara. This one, yeah, I do love it. I think it's drying out a little bit, but maybe it was just the day I was having with it. I don't know. So let's pop this on. Nope, it's not drying out. I think I was just irritable with it.
like that actually I love this mascara I was using it all the time until I started using the smudge volume waterproof mascara but I love this mascara so I'm glad she picked it out and then we have the smudge liquid matte lipstick in magic I use this all the time she probably remembers me using it all the time and talking about it Now that our lipsticks on, we have one more product to use, and that is the Essence Hello Good Stuff 3 in 1 Face Mist. Face Mist, sorry. It hydrates, fixes, and refreshes with watermelon extract. This guy over here. I do like the setting spray, I don't use it very often. It is only a 50ml bottle. It kind of does this thing when you spray it, but she picked it out so let's do it it does smell i don't know if you guys can see it kind of lets nice little fun miss and then it does that thing but it doesn't dry splotchy on the face so it's not a big deal so this is the look that I created using all the products that Gabby picked out for me. No cheating, literally used every single product she did. I also did not give her any help. I told her to start. Um, when she was done, I asked if there was anything else she wanted. And then she picked out the liquid eyeshadow. So this is the final look of me doing a full face of makeup with only the products that my child picked out for me i hope you guys enjoyed it it was really fun to do and interact with my child as well and it's nice to see how much they know about stuff you really interested in and how well they know me so it was really fun i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video or like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also ring the notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.